Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will be designing and animating an album cover using auto layout and component sets. Let's begin. Here are the various objects we will be using for the design. I have also added a link to the final project in case you want to follow along. We will begin by changing the fonts. I'm using a font called Glock. Then set the font size to 20. Next, select the next text layer, change the fonts to Georgia, and also set the font size to 16. Once we are done with the text layers, it's time to select and place the play icon next to the text layers. Select both text layers and apply auto layout using the keyboard shortcut Shift A. Next, select both the auto layouts we just created and the play button and apply another auto layout using Shift A. Head to the auto layouts property panel and select align left to align the icon. Now let's create a frame for our image with a width and height of 280 pixels. After creating the frame, place the image inside the frame and holding down on the shift key, right click and align it just as you see on the screen. Select the image and set the corner radius to 20. Moving on, select the rectangle tool and create a shape with the same dimensions as the image, which are a width and height of 250 pixels. Also set the corner radius to 20. Holding down on the shift key, right click and align it just as you see it on the screen. Send it to the back and also change the color of the shape. Rename the shape and duplicate it. Change the color of the shape. While holding down the shift key, Right click and align it just as you see on the screen. We want to use a text layer frame again. So select it and turn it into a component using the keyboard shortcuts Ctrl Alt key. Duplicate it to create an instance. Now select everything and apply auto layout using Shift A. From the properties panel, add a fill color. Select the frame and set the spacing between items to 20. And set the horizontal and vertical pattern to 20. You can also give it a corner radius of 20. Select the frame and set the fill color to this hex code. Select the first text layer and apply this hex. Then select the next text layer and apply the same color, but change the opacity to 80%.
rename the frame and duplicate it. Let's make some changes to our first frame so we can get a seamless transition when we prototype it. Select individual cards in the frame and align them just as you see on the screen. Next, select the first text layer in the second frame and set the fill color to white. Also select the second text layer and increase the opacity to 100%. Select the frame and set the fill color to this hex. Head back to the first frame and hide the play button. Switch to prototype mode and use the following settings. Now select both frames and create a component set. Using the same process, let's create the second album. Create a new frame, copy instances of each album, and place them inside the frame. Now let's preview. Finally, we use auto layouts and component sets to create an album cover. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay up to date on all our future content. See you in the next one. Bye.